Electricity and magnetism are intimately related. We use moving magnets to generate electric current, as with these turbines, and electric current to make magnets. Here I've set up a powerful magnet with a strip of aluminum foil running perpendicular to the magnetic field lines. Remember these from the last episode? Well, I've set up a power supply to send a current through the foil. And as you can see, such a current feels a force in the presence of a magnetic field. If I change the direction the current flows, I change the direction of the force. Here it pushes the foil up. Let's see that again. First down, switch the wires, and up. To help remember what direction this force works, scientists have devised hand rules. Basically, a charge moving through a pre-existing magnetic field will feel a force. To determine the direction for a negative charge, we use your left hand. Point your thumb in the direction the charge is moving. Then, your fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and your palm tells you the direction of the force. For positive charges, we use our right hand. Direction motion, direction of magnetic field, direction of push. The strength of this force varies due to how the charge's motion lines up with the magnetic field lines. If it's moving in the same direction or the opposite, there's no force. 90 degrees different, big force. In the middle, medium force. To review, for negative charges, we use our left hand. The thumb points in the direction the charge is moving. The fingers in the direction the magnetic field is pointing. And your palm in the direction of the force. For positive charges, we use your right hand. Again, the thumb points in the direction the charge is moving, the fingers in the direction of the magnetic field, and your palm in the direction of the force. Now let's see how these rules can help us figure out how our foil will behave. Here we're using direct current, which we know to be the movement of a negative electrical charge, namely electrons. So we're going to use our left hand. We know that the current flows in this setup from the black wire to the red wire, so we point our thumb to our left. We can see that the north pole is at the top of the screen and the south pole at the bottom of the screen, so we take our fingers and point them out of the screen. This leaves our palm pointing down, and that should be the direction of the force. Let's see. Okay. Let's switch the direction of our wires, changing the direction the current flows. Exactly as we expect, since our palm now points up, so too the thing moves up. If we try it over and over again, we'll get the same result.